What up, y'all? It's your man, I'm American. Uh, I'm gonna try and make this short and sweet. I've made this video about three times, and I, I just don't like it. Okay, so African Americans, this is to you. This is really to anybody who believes in the social state. Um, I was recently reading an article which led into a video where uh, an African American woman was uh upset that african-american men were rejoicing that social welfare is being cut section 8 food stamps WIC, whatever else it's called um in the united states under the trump administration and i don't know if that rejoicing or let's put it like this she's claiming that rejoicing is type of a type of spite and bitterness and um, it's from hatred of black women by black men. And I want to disagree first and foremost with that premise. African American men, for the most part, the successful ones, they are upset. Maybe even bitter, yes, maybe, possibly. But I ask you, why would they not be? And is it not justified? I mean, when you really look at it, the good guys, the AFCs, the average frustrated chump who hasn't learned game or anything and has very low success rate with women, he's upset because the thugs and the bad boys are getting the top pick of the beautiful women in the community, even though they're ghetto. Nonetheless, that's the situation that they're dealing with. So when you look at the very oversimplistic alpha beta paradigm, of course the beta guy wants his method and his way of life, the good guy, to be the one that's considered to be the best. And that's why they say, ah, oh, you pick a bad boy, blah, 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 and they complain, and the bad boy's like, you know, ah, oh, look at them chumps, blah, blah, blah. Everybody wants to be the top dog, and everybody's gonna make their selves the standard for what is supposed to be good, or what's supposed to be top choice amongst the top choice women. So, I understand their anger, their anger and their frustration. And I agree with them, but not for the same reasons that, um, that they're giving with the bad boys and whatever else are being picked. I mean, I think that's a bad decision. I agree with that, actually. But, um... What I believe is necessary to happen is the bad boys need to get their game together. Because regardless, it's proven. The situation has shown that women are going to choose these guys regardless. And one of the, you know, you can read on like some of the black forums, black male forums that it's like they're picking guys, you know, these college graduate women, these university graduate women are picking guys who haven't graduated high school. You know, guys who can't write a, a, a grammatically correct sentence, you know, see spot run. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's true. They're being gamed by guys like this. It's, it's absolutely true. And they're having kids with these type of guys. So my stance is these women are always going to pick these type of guys. You're not going to change that. So what needs to happen is those guys, they need to change it up. They need to become more intelligent. They need to study. They need to get their game together in terms of, you know, education and technical technical skills and trades. And uh, you know the the goofy dudes, the nerdy guys. You need you need to learn game. Game is out there now, and it works. It's proven to work. Demonstrably proven that it functions very well. And even though women are hip to it, it still works on them. That's the, that, that's the amazing thing about it. Women are learning about game and they're still subject to it regardless. So this is like a twofold type thing. And I'll, I'll add three in here. And I'll say three because it is. One, Trump does need to continue to cut social welfare and social benefits. It's going to cause it. It's going to force people to up their game. Sink or, sink or swim, you know? You just see the world as an ocean. And if you can't swim... You know, you can't expect the government to, like, just make life boys 
uh, as a uh, as national policy. Two, bad boys need to get their game together and uh, learn how to be more economically viable. And three, the nerdy dudes, they need to um, they need to learn game. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, all the rest, the complaining, whatever else. I mean, ladies, y'all can be mad because dudes are happy that stuff's getting cut. But at the end of the day, let's just look at the reality. The African-American community has been a matriarchy for over 50 years. You make these men that you complain about, and it's a hot mess. And so things need to change. Definitely the matriarchal structure of the African-American community needs to end. You know, and let's just let's just go a little step further here. When we look at matriarchal societies across the globe, and there's like five or six that still survive, some in Asia, Southeast Asia, and a few in Africa, they are the most dysfunctional communities in the world, producing nothing. Not for their current generation, nor the next one. It is not in the nature of women to lead. And when we look at the African-American community, they are quickly heading into the most dysfunctional community in the world. Not in America, it already is. So, um, something needs to change, you know, or, or y'all, I'll just keep, you know, swirling or whatever else until, I don't know what the accomplishing goal of that is, whatever. I'm cool with it, but I'm just saying if that's like a, an ethnic policy, I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to serve the community. There won't be a community. I don't know. Whatever. Give me your thoughts. See, man, I'm American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. I'm American. I'm out.